and welcome to Catholic Mom and Daughter. I'm Jennifer, the mom, and with my daughter Kate today. And we just wanted to offer you some words of encouragement today from an old friend, C.S. Lewis. You know, it's such a crazy time and everyone's trying to make decisions about the fall. Should I send my kids to school? Should I homeschool? Should I homeschool some of them and send the rest? Should I go back to church? Is it safe to get my hair cut? All these decisions are just mulling around in our minds and it can really make you crazy. Yeah, you, you just can't plan for anything. You don't know what's going to come next. And that makes it really, really hard. Yeah, it's, this is killing all the planners <laughs> out there. So my heart goes out to you and it just reminded me about this letter that C.S. Lewis wrote to his friend after World War II. At that time, England had just been through six years of war, um, and things weren't looking any better. They still had rationing, uh, they were afraid about the atomic bomb, and all the other stuff. Yeah, all the other stuff, <laughs> like the rise of communism, yeah, um, Europe was in shambles. So life was every bit as stressful for them then as it is for us now. So they had it for six years. Yeah, they had, they well, had it for a couple of months, but it feels the same. Yeah, it just sort of feels the same. Don't you feel a little bit like you've been through a war? <laughs> okay, we're, we're ready to delete the war scene now. So anyway, this is a letter he wrote to a friend to offer encouragement that we wanted to share with you today. C.S. Lewis, in a letter to a friend after World War II, one mustn't assume burdens that God does not lay upon us. It is one of the evils and rapid diffusion of news that the sorrows of all the world come to us every morning. I think each village was meant to feel pity for its own sick and poor whom it can help, and I doubt if it is the duty of any private person to fix his mind on the ills which he cannot help. This may even become an escape from the works of charity we really can do to those we know. A great many people do now seem to think that the mere state of being worried is in itself meritorious. I don't think it is. We must, if it so happens, give our lives for others. But even while we're doing it, I think we're meant to enjoy our Lord, and in Him, our friends, our food, our sleep, our jokes, and the bird song, and the frosty sunrise. It is very dark, but there's usually light enough for the next step or so. And that's the end of the quote from the letter. And I just love that line. There's usually enough light for the next step. So right now, we just have enough information to make decisions for today. And so it doesn't matter you know, really what you decide because it might all change. <laughs> and the only Pretty thing much. that we can be assured of is God's love for us. So if you're out there stressing, worrying, we're right there with you. We're praying <laughs> for you. And we just want you to remember... Jesus, I trust in you.